ice today. I can't even make it my price today. Niggas been thinking for ice today. Never been thinking for price today. Them season me. I tell a nigga about smoking me. I make my friend of my bees and me. I'm a friend of my bees and me. Them season me. I tell a nigga about smoking me. I make my friend of my bees and me. I'm a friend of my bees and me. Uh, what's your question? Uh, okay, uh, no, uh, thank you very much, uh, Chairperson, for the wonderful remarks uh, and the clarity seeking statement uh, that the uh, Hamburg campus students have been longing for and have been waiting for and anticipating for for a very long time. So, here I only have uh, three questions. Uh, uh, can you please state up for me? It's not only one question. But three questions, uh, which I want to. Uh, it's it's uh, from Sasko Comrades. <laughs> Actually, I want to expose uh, uh, the ludicrousness and the mediocrity of leadership that uh, the the students of Kaungua campus are voting for. Uh, in the first question, we have a school leader, which is the former chairperson of Sasko. Uh, which uh, asked that uh, can we have a statement of can we have the statement of screenshot of SARS for saying uh, they will fight for the removal of Tabong Lodge? I don't know if uh, the chairman if he hasn't clarified that uh, enough for him to actually understand what uh, we were actually talking about. And then the number two question is uh, from also a Sasko comrade, which is actually not employed. He must actually go and ask the person who was delivering a manifesto for them last year, which is saying, uh, why is Tabung Lodge not removed as an accredited <laughs> resident? Imagine <laughs> <laughs> the ludicrousness. And then uh, the last question uh, is from a, a, a Basma member. Uh, which is also bogus, which is saying uh, allege allegedly you receive 120,000 uh, proof of payment. So, can you please uh, show us the 500 proof of payment that uh, you received as the leadership of the EFF? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think we're going to take uh, another question before you answer, DP. I'll come back to you guys to answer. Uh, I think it's you, my brother, over there. Okay, okay. Volume. I hope I don't get insulted. I hope I don't get insulted because I'm missing them. So, TP, I helped you when you were speaking with you. There's one thing to forget. I'm not saying there is, but just it's a question. You said that you guys took, you, you received how much? Five. Five hundred. <laughs> Five hundred from the Tabo. Tabo. Yes. Yeah. So, as as the rules of the school and you receiving money, like, is that allowed by the school policy for you to receive money from any service provider? Okay, no chat. Uh, I think we're gonna take the last question in this round, guys. Uh, what's your question? Hi, uh, okay, my question is to the deputy president. In the court of public opinion, this whole, the last um, allegation sub subverting the SRC. In the court of public opinion, it seems like this whole con press conference is the whole allegation subverting the SRC. So, can you please? Tell us your pure, pure heart, like open your heart and tell us, do you respect them? Do you see them as your colleagues? Like, like all that allegation when you are subverting the SRC. Okay. Do you respect them? Do you see them as your colleagues? Okay, thank you. Yeah, so the first round of questioning is done for now. So we're going to allow for our deployees or our famous couple over here <laughs> to answer our question. So the first one uh, was that one from Skulile, which is the former chairperson of Sasko, who said that, can we have screenshots of uh, Sasko? Uh, okay, so I need to uh, upper my voice a little. So the, the first question uh, of today's session was from Skulile, who is a former Sasko chairperson. Uh, he said that, can we have screenshots of Sasko? 
uh, actually agreeing to say that they're gonna uh, release or they're gonna help uh, uh, fight the issue of Chabong Lodge. I think it's that it, it goes to that sort of, of question that mm. they need evidence that uh, SASCO did actually commit to fight uh, the issues of Chabong Lodge. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you, anyone in the house still, you need answer for that. I think we've played a video from their current... Work no, let's, let's answer. It's fine. Okay, sure. It okay. means that uh, Comrade Sku was not listening there. But there's, there's an initial video that we played to the house, and we are not going to play it again. We'll just circulate it to the entire student population to see that we are not just speaking ill of them. We are speaking of something that has literal record. And for the mere fact that uh, Comrade Sku can ask this, it feels like he's deviating from fighting any issue of Tabong Lodge. Because he is saying, when has Sasko said he's going to fight Tabong Lodge? Which means Sasko is not planning to fight anything whatsoever. So when you say, when did Sasko say he's fighting Tabong Lodge? Tabong Lodge has issues, and Sasko is an organization, a revolutionary organization must have a stance that they must fight Tabong Lodge. Because currently, students were in a revolution last week. And there is some leaders of SASCO that were there even, which shows political prima facie that I'm talking about. But today they said, when did SASCO say we are going to fight? There is a video, my brother, we are going to circulate it to all student populace so that we don't see as people that are lying. But we provide all uh, uh, evidence that okay. we spoke about. Uh, moving on, uh, the next question is that one. Uh, not sure if it was directed by Basma Comrade or someone from SAS, I'm not sure. So the question states that uh, why is Tabong Lodge not removed from the Tute or from the SASCO? SASCO. Okay. He, he must ask his secretary, his CSRC he secretary. I don't know why you're asking us that nonsensical question. Because you heard us speak. You heard us speak and you heard our view against Tabong Lodge. But you are coming to ask us again. We told you, go and ask the person that you deployed. And ask your leadership. Don't ask, stop asking us nonsense here. Yeah. yeah, and just to add to that uh, statement that has just been said by uh, the convener here. The issue that we are having here is the program of, the problem of Tutel. Uh, so the problem starts from today. Today itself, when they approve this release race to come and uh, accommodate students of T2, that's where the problem starts. They don't come and visit the rest to see do they meet the guideline to accommodate students for that amount of money. So that's where the problem starts. So that, that's why even, even today, right now as I'm talking to you, I've just received an, uh, an email from today. They're saying that we must refer the matter to a CSRC. So you can see that already the thing, it's, it's, it, there's your answer, you have your answer, that to tear itself, it has a problem on itself. So the problem starts exactly from to tear itself uh, to accredit these races. So there's no way already, because they've received money from this guy, there's no way that they can just remove you. Because a certain individual from to tear has already received an, a, 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 an amount of money. So they can't just say, we are removing this race. Okay, so uh, number three, uh, I think it's directed at uh, DP, my brother. So this one, it says that, uh, it's from my brother from SC over there. He said that uh, according to uh, the, the constitution of the SLC, uh, are you guys allowed uh, to receive money uh, from the service providers, if I'm not mistaken? Oh, thank you very much, uh, my brother. Uh, Comrade Interim uh, Coordinator. <coughs> My brother there by uh, SO, thank you very much, uh, Prophet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wh what is happening is that when someone sends you, must saying that Comrades, over for it, I'm leaving now. So, what else would you need? Be it a campus dean or rector, let's say we are protesting against enemies behaving of law, a campus dean or something like that. I'm not saying that campus dean and campus rector are misbehaving. Let's say there was an issue, they had building one. Then later on, he's saying that 
I think you are hungry or something like that. So I must refuse man because there will be implications that I sold that student. <laughs> How can you sell out a student with 500 rand? I mean, let us be serious. Let us take each other serious. How can you sell out people with 500 rand? As a matter of fact, EFF student command and all uh, progressive forces were there of a uh, round table, of which we remain uh, loyal forces of round table. We are saying that even if he sent 100,000 rand, I think it's dead than me saying this one, even if he sent millions or something, we are going to accept it. We take that money. If we drink it, we drink alcohol or we drink juice or anything, or we find our structures, we are going to take it and eat it and wake up tomorrow and fight them. That money we received to that man from that man, it was in the, a bribery of some sort. But it was the money because it was a weekend for young people to have a, a program of young people. I hope I'm not shouting my brother at you. I want, you to, I want us to be clear to, to each and everyone. Us taking that money, we were not selling out the revolution of students of Tabong Lodge. Even if they can call us to say that tomorrow we are closing down Tabong Lodge, trust me, we are going to assist them again. Yes. Ne? I hope I, I clarified your question. Yes. I think there was another question that says the. Uh, Do you respect? Do you respect? Yeah. Do uh, the last question to the beach. Oh, okay. He has an answer. I hear what he's saying, but. My question was, does the school permit you? Because if you can, I'm not sure what that section is, which section is. I think it's chapter 15. It says, receiving, like getting bribery or receiving any form it's of bribery. No, it's, it's stated that it's bribery or receiving any form of incentive or giving. That's what it says. That was my point. I think it, to, to clarify all the air, I understand where you are coming from. Uh, it wasn't any bribery because it, it, it talks about bribery and incentives. It wasn't a bribery, it wasn't an incentive. If I were to come out here and I bump into a, a security card and it says I'm giving you 50 rand, it doesn't mean that it's bribery mm -hmm. or an incentive. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it would be absolutely foolish to say that it is because if you are going to say that actually, it means that we will not have any SRC member because there's no way there's no cater that has never received anyone from anyone that is working in the university. I can tell you right now, it means that all of us must be chopped, even yourself, pretty much sure, that all of us, <laughs> we must go. Because you cannot say that any money that comes from any person that is employed in CUT is bribery or selling out. It doesn't make sense. Firstly, I even learned in my speech that selling out is taking the money and then revoking from the revolution. Every politician must understand that. There is no uh, revoke of revolution that happened. And besides, even if uh, we received that 120,000 that they said that we have, <laughs> We would have still fought, and probably if I received 120,000, you would see me from the face. Or if this person has received 120,000, Steve Madden, <laughs> <laughs> you understand? You'd see me perhaps I'd even hire that car. I'd even hire that car also myself and run around town, go to La Youthy, go to Europa, if I had received that much, or if we had received that much. So it, it's. 
it's a uh, it's not a political statement or it's not a political view that we are raising in fact because if we were to test all of us as leaders it means all of us have been taking incentives of bribes which purely doesn't make sense so those views uh, I don't think they are substantial enough, my brother. In fact, you must start raising them in, in your deployee, the president. Yes. And you must say to the president, yes. the president, since you asked for money, yes. money from Rendani, and he sent you 2000 on your time bank account, wasn't that taking a bribery or an incentive? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, Amanda. Uh, uh, comrades, comrades, can we keep the order in the house? Uh, so moving on, we have the last question, uh, which is directed at the DP. So that question is says that. I'm a friend of my business. I'm a friend of my business. I don't smoke.